Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Mass. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today I'm continuing our playlist on the 2022 General Mass External Exams in Queensland by looking at Paper 1 and two-way tables. There was only one question and it was multiple choice. So let's read it together. The two-way table summarises the semester one results for students enrolled in two courses, machinery, machinery and electrical. Students achieved either satisfactory S or unsatisfactory U. And here's our two-way table. And we need to find out what this 10% is referring to over here. Now, before we look at all of the options, let's just make sure we understand how to read this two-way table. You'll notice if we read across the rows, 80% plus 10% makes 90% as a total. 20 plus 90 makes 110% as a total. So that's telling us straight away we can't read across the rows. We need to read down the columns. So what we have here is I'm going to pretend that I am the machinery teacher. My class is broken up into two groups. I've got a group of students who passed, they got satisfactory, and a group of students who failed my machinery class, they got unsatisfactory. I don't know how many is in each group, I just know that they all study machinery and they all study electrical. Now, out of the ones that passed my machinery course, 80% of the ones that passed also passed electrical. Okay, so that's not saying that 80% of my machinery class passed. It's saying that out of the ones who did pass, they passed both subjects. And then out of the ones who passed um, my machinery course, 20% um, of the ones that passed failed electrical. Okay, over to this column here. Out of the ones in my class that failed machinery, 10% of the ones that failed machinery passed electrical and out of the kids in my class that failed machinery 90% of them failed both of the subjects okay so that's how I read this particular one now if we just skip through the different options here a 10% of all students achieved satisfactory in electrical we don't know that okay we don't know how many what percentage passed machinery we don't know what percentage passed electrical um, this is looking at one variable only who how many passed electrical we don't know same with machinery we just don't know we only know how they did in machinery versus electrical it's like a, a bivariate data analysis it's two things that are being compared so a and b are options that are not possible okay 10 percent of the students so if we look here um, who achieved satisfactory in electrical, achieved unsatisfactory in machinery. So the dependent variable here is how did they do in electrical? Well, this is not how we read this table because we're not reading across the rows. We need to think and focus on how did they do in machinery first and then how did they do in electrical second. So let's look here and see if D is true because we're reading this one the wrong way. D, 10% of the students who got unsatisfactory in machinery, <clears throat> yes. Achieve satisfactory in electrical, yes. That's how we read the two-way table. So the only possible option is D. If C was going to be correct, it would read differently. And it would have to be that the rows would add up to 100% to be focusing on electrical and then machinery. So that's our key trick here is knowing how to read the two-way table. Now, it's been a while since I've done a question like this. And in all honesty, I had to sit and think about this one for quite a while. You only get about 90 seconds in the general mass to work this out. So straight away, if you understand what a two-way table is, you need to be able to eliminate A and B right off the bat because they are only looking at one variable. The other thing that you need to be aware of when you have these percentage two-way tables is how to read them and we read either vertically or horizontally depending on which way it adds up to a hundred percent and that's your key tip. Well that was the only question in the paper some of you are like phew thank goodness for that. Hope you found it helpful and if you did why not like and subscribe to us here at the channel hit that notifications bell so you know when the next video is in the series you can follow us on social media or on facebook and instagram or tell someone about mcclutchy maths and if you've got any questions whatsoever you can contact us at mcclutchy at yahoo.com and we'd love to hear from you in the comments if you found the video helpful please do um, give us your feedback thank you so much for watching today i'm natalie mcclutchy have a wonderful day